Yeah, Spider Island. This film got underway and the first thing I noticed was the sound was a bit buggered. And it's dubbed so badly that it's beyond belief. But I'm going to try to ignore it for the sake of the review. Now, these people are picking women to be in a group of dancers. And there was something to do with Singapore, but I couldn't follow it very well. <laughs> That's great. I love how interested he looks as he starts picking stuff off his shoes. And then they're all immediately on a plane, which very swiftly crashes into the Pacific. And there's a shot of a guy sitting in a broom cupboard pretending to be a radio operator. Oh yeah, because they'd definitely be alive after a horrendous crash like that. This is ridiculous. I mean, we're ten minutes in, and even the most basic questions about the characters and the plot remain unanswered. Who the hell are these people? What is going on? Why should I care? Yeah, let's all follow this guy's lead, because I've got a feeling that this film is going to require some serious booze to get through it. So come on, everybody, and let's join him. They reach land and they chill out for a bit. Some of them are still wearing high heels, for God's sake. Hey, look what I just found. Oh. A hammer. There must be someone on this island. Really? A hammer. This dialogue is hilarious. They find a hammer and our main man, because he's so bright, tells us that it would be used to mine for uranium. Brilliant. There's a cabin and a pointlessly dead guy. That is the worst dead acting ever. That does not look like a spider. So they rob the old man's cabin and they decide to live there until they can leave. Maybe there are more of them. <gasps> we found the professor's trunk full of stuff. They'll certainly be useful. Everybody gets ready to sleep. And Gary decides to go for a walk into the middle of nowhere. Clumsy bastard, look at that! And a huge spider watches on randomly. Why does a spider have claws? And then he gets bitten. Amazing. Now, unlike Peter Parker, Gary doesn't become Spider-Man. Nope. He turns into an ugly fucker. Anyway, she dies, whoever she is. Oh, Georgia, the professor's been killed, Gary's disappeared, and now we've just buried Linda. Which one of us is going to be next? I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. <sighs> Please let it be you, and quickly. Oh, hell, just get rid of all of them, so I don't have to watch this anymore. They all argue, and there's a fight, and... 28 days. 28 long days and nights. And nobody even knows we're here. Wait, what? They've been on the island for a whole fucking month. When did this happen? What's happened to Gary? And what's happened in the last month? Should have taken one along as part of your Two guys turn up on a rowboat who work for the professor, apparently. That would be the dead guy at the beginning. And one guy goes to the cabin and the main lady points a gun at him. But he just laughs in her face. Unfortunately, I wasn't laughing at this point. This film was becoming so incredibly tedious, and I still have no idea who these people are or why I should give a shit. Don't laugh. You'll be sorry about that. So on their last night on the island, they have a massive blowout party and they all get pissed. The younger guy from the boat looks as if he's getting off with every bloody woman on the island. Honestly, he's just greedy. But he's a cock anyway and he dies. But not before getting hit in the face with a table. <coughs> Another woman dies as well. Is he meant to be the wolf man or what? I swear he was bitten by a spider. They chase after Gary with flares, and he runs into quicksand and dies. What a completely pointless film. One and a half out of ten. <laughs>